just have a quick look at camp while I'm up here. Everything seems to be in order, nothing's touched. And the chair still seems pretty solid actually, so that's good. So yeah, on to uh, look for a spot now. I've not had to come far. It's quite a nice open space here, quite near my camp. I think it's going to do for my purposes for today. So I just need to get some materials first. out today <laughs> well I think I've got all the materials I need I'm going to be doing a um, double tripod raised bed basically um, out here quite late today actually had a bit of a lazy day so it's good that the uh, there's more Sun at the moment days are a bit longer but yeah I need to crack on give me two tripods done with some uh, paracord gonna have an overhead tarp though it's not gonna rain um, it'd be nice to have some cover one thing I didn't think of is the amount of insects that are out at the moment. I've not been up here in about three weeks and they're everywhere. <laughs> I've got no bug spray or anything. So I just have to deal with that, get some smoke up on the fire later. If you've not seen me do this before, you just wrap your cordage around all three several times and then you wrap it around them several times on both sides. So you go round and round and round, round and round and round, then fasten it off. And it should be a little tighter than that, but this is spreading out quite fast, so it should give me a little leverage there. What I'm going to be using as the bed itself is this, uh, it's called a bushcraft bunk canvas. Um, it's got a loop down either side to put to your, your branches, pieces of wood, whatever you're using, to suspend on there. It's from Military Mart in the UK, so a surplus website. But I saw it, um, a guy called Andy About Doors UK on Instagram, I saw him using it, asked him where he got it, so shout out to him. Um, he's got a great Instagram feed by the way, so I need to kind of measure out how much room I need between these and hopefully the wood I've got will fit in the sleeves down each side. I've taken off a lot of the uh, 
bits left over from branches and stuff, so nothing tears the bed. There's another one there. Should have brought my axe today, for some reason didn't. And I'm going to thread this on here through the pocket. I'm not going to cut it to size until I've done that. There we go, not a bad fit. Just do the other one too, that's well. Well, as you can see it's kind of up, had to uh, move down the hitches on these because they were just spread too wide, but I am obviously way too high here. So that's the fundamentals, I'm going to try and fettle around with it now, make it stable and uh, the right height. Still got some daylight left, lesson learnt, don't come out and expect to be able to do a shelter the first time you've done it. Not much daylight left. Putting these final things in, these spreaders, they're pretty need tying down. Not bad. Guess I'm gonna have to try it on camera for the first time. Still needs a bit of fettling, I think. Ooh, please stay up. bad. A few bits moved into place. I need a rest. I think that's going to have to do. Didn't bring enough cordage by a mile, <laughs> but uh, pretty taut, it's covered. The bed's up. Just got to do a fire reflector and um, pretty sorted.
Well, I am knackered. <laughs> I think we're pretty much there though, just a bit of firewood collecting to do. Just remembered, now I've got tree sap and dirt and bits of paracord that's been melted onto my hands. Remembered I've got some new gloves. Oh well. <laughs> See, I just stopped for a bit of a jerky break. And I've got a little table here, need to be a bit closer. <laughs> definitely on a bit of a lean here so I'll have to sort that out and these need securing but we're nearly there I should probably explain one of the reasons I'm uh, a bit underprepared for today it was a different camp plan for today and um, that was a meetup I talked about in the last video but uh, cancelled at the last minute for the second time we're trying to reschedule at the moment so that's a shame but things happen so yeah, that's why I was a bit underprepared to do this, which is something I had in mind to do, but I wasn't planning on doing it so soon. But weather's been nice, been off work today, so here we are. It's coming along, tie these on, collect some firewood, and uh, that'll probably be when the sun goes down. So I'm just going to have a bit of a break, and um, then we'll get on with that. I've picked off some birch bark from the shelter and I've got that dry grass that I got earlier. Got some kindling. Probably could have got more, but I'm pretty tired and hungry. <laughs> so. Oh, we're good, she's taken. We've had a lot of sun, so uh, wood's very dry even off the ground. Well, you probably can't tell, but it's uh, starting to get a bit darker now, dusky, so I thought I've earned a beer. Got a couple with me today. This is an Anchor California beer, California Lager, the bear on the front. So I'm starting with this because it's the one I'm most unsure about. I think I've had all the others before. That's fine. Yep, I'm happy with that. I think I've got enough uh, firewood for the night now. It's not cold or anything, so I don't need it for heat. I'm probably gonna go to bed after I've had something to eat anyway. So yeah, just waiting for some uh, embers and coals to cook on now. And uh, relaxing with a beer. It's hard to see, but after a year, over a year now of using this tarp, finally got a hole in it. Actually two. Which is a shame because I do really like this tarp, but it does happen. This fire was spitting quite a lot when I first lit it. Oh no, there's three. 
I'll have to patch them. This, if anyone's wondering, is the uh, 3FUL gear tarp. It's kind of silver backed, green on the outside, lots of tie off points, 3x3. Three three. Got it from AliExpress, and it's a great tarp. Good price as well, I think it was just over £30. It's time for the next beer. We've got a B17 uh, backyard backyard brew. Passion and curiosity, hop struck pilsner. I think it's another American one. I assume so from B17. So I forgot I'd actually got this one. Is it 4.7 cents? Nothing too strong. Oh, I like that. It's a little more mild than the last one. Bit of that hoppy aftertaste, but it, it's quite subtle. Yeah, I like that a lot. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for this one. Don't drink and fly. <laughs> I picked up a couple of these the other day. Just little chopping boards, I think they're really cheese boards. But they really like their bamboo. And um, got them in TK Maxx. Didn't only cost a couple of pounds. Not a lot at all, so I thought they were pretty good. Got four of them. So I can even use one like a plate if I want to. So I'm just going to start prepping my dinner here. Looks like I picked a winner here with the <laughs> onion. Yeah, it's a bit green in places. That's good. And I'll just pick this up. So I'm going to be making some kebabs today. So I want some nice big pieces. If I can get any. Yeah, that's not too bad, is it? Get rid of them outer pieces. Yeah, that's fine. And a nice sweet pepper. Still got its barcode. That's like Airplane City here at the moment. And I've also got a few mushrooms. Nice and chunky for the kebabs. They are quite small, these chopping boards, but they do for me. Saves all them comments when people are talking about me chopping on a plate or pan. And the main event here. There's a nice steak. I'll try and cut that in here. To some nice chunks. And I've just brought with me some metal skewers. Didn't want too much faff in with this being all a bit last minute really. I should alternate these. And we're just going to drizzle on a little oil and some spice. And same for the other side. A little oil and a little spice. There we go, all ready for the fire. This is the grill I'm going to be using today. It's like a bit of a backpacker's grill. You can't buy these. This was gifted to me from NTL Bushcraft on Instagram. His name's Glenn. And he said he made himself one. Worked out really well, so he wanted to send me one. So thanks very much, Glenn. This is the christening of it, which is about time because I've had it for a couple of months. 
even as the Velcro strip just unfolds and uh, has the feet that dig in. So I'm just going to set that up and uh, get my kebabs on it. There you go, just enough room for one. And in practically no time at all, they are ready. Boy, do they look good. not I've got some corn on me so I'll stick that on the grill while I'm here oh this looks very good indeed may as well reuse these chopping boards so I've cleaned them off oh that smells brilliant with the spices on there I don't want to lose you. Let's go for a bit of steak. Oh, that is absolutely perfect. Oh, I'm going to have to do this again. This is lovely. Mm. You can't get better than that. You really can't. That is perfect spice, perfectly cooked. And I've got a Brooklyn Lager to go with it. Something I'm a little more familiar with. I'm on the Piston Head now. Which is a lager I know I like. I've always assumed it's American, I'm not sure. No, don't know. Well, I must say that was one of the best meals I've had whilst camping. Out of all the elaborate things I cook on these camps and these trips, that was probably one of the best, if not the best. I really enjoyed that. So I've just stoked the fire back up now. And we've got an aeroplane going overhead, because I turned the camera on, of course. Other than that, it's been very peaceful. Got a bird roosting over the back there that I don't recognise the sound of. Quite a noisy one. But yeah, I'm just going to chill now. Might do a little carving. I've got the stuff with me. I've got my unfinished spoon. <laughs> and um, yeah, just chill by the fire before I brave the bed. Oh, I just wanted to say the grill worked out perfectly. That was brilliant. Thank you so much, Glenn. Just finishing off some mixed M&Ms, bit of a treat, and some hot chocolate, and I'm gonna hop in the bunk and see what it's like. Mm. Don't know about you, but I only drink hot chocolate when I'm camping, never at home.
well, seems to be holding, so good night all. Well I appear to have everything pretty much back to the way it was now. I've kept some of that wood, that's why I didn't cut it down, because I want to do a new build with some of that. Precious round here. <laughs> um, yeah, the bunk was good. I liked it. It was maybe a little too narrow and a little too short, but I think they do a bigger size, so I'm going to look out for it. But I slept better in that than I did in a hammock ever. So I'd definitely like to try that shelter configuration again, try and improve on it next time. And when I got my uh, sleeping bag out last night, I found my uh, flatlander. <laughs> so it must have been in there from uh, when I went to see the um, B&L boys do the, uh, the cabin video. Well, that's it for this week. I'm off to get some breakfast. Can't bother to cook any here. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.